this is JC Rotten here and we're going to go from drab to fab very very quickly here this is for beginning intermediate and advanced makeup technique we're going to start with a concealer under the eyes that's always going to cover up any dark circles or anything like that um, if you need it for forehead, uh, any anything, any area where you might want to conceal, um, go ahead and put it there. This is um, Maybelline Everfresh Concealer. Any concealer will work. You're going to want that in general a little bit lighter than your base. And uh, you can use any kind of base that you want. This is Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Makeup. Okay, so I have my makeup sponge. I like to use sponges. And we're just going to dab that cheeks, forehead, nose. The point of this video is I'm going to show you how quickly this can be done and come out looking great. You know, whether you were 12, 15, in your 20s, um, or, or older, or it's just been a while since you have worn makeup. One technique that I haven't mentioned yet that I need to, to uh, mention is very important. When you are applying makeup, you always want to go in towards the nose. There's very few exceptions, um, areas of the face to that, such as um, on the nose you'll be going down, but I just want to show you close up here, you will be always um, all over your face going in towards the nose. And the reason for that is to avoid wrinkles. No matter what your age, you don't, you want to avoid wrinkles. So here we go. We have put on the concealer and the base. Don't forget to go above your eyes. That's what your eyeshadow um, will stick to. And remember, again, in towards the nose, always. Okay, now, our next step is whatever sort of powder you want to use. I use uh, a, a brush uh, with loose powder. Uh, this one happens to be uh, True Blend Micro Minerals. Uh, it's a foundation base, actually. So, I'm going to take that, get a little bit of that here for us, use our brush, and just to keep the shine off of my face, this one tends to work um, really well. Okay. And the more times that you do this, the faster, I mean, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. The only place that I don't apply the powder is actually on my eyes because that is where um, you're really going to want your, if, particularly if you wear um, eyeshadow to stick. Okay, now, don't know if you, um, like, if you brows need, need uh, to be filled in or, or not. Um, mine do. I'm, I just use a little eyebrow pencil. It's one that you sharpen. Um, you can kind of angle your face as you are looking in the mirror up. In my case, I just fill in the sparse areas. anywhere that is slightly sparse and you can actually do more than this you can actually I always go for a rounded I don't want anything square don't worry about having that perfect to begin with because we are going to use the soft tip you can also use your finger but we are going to use um, just the soft a uh, little eraser head tip here and kind of um, 
just kind of blend that in. You can also always use your ring finger um, if you need to even more blending. Okay, so there we go. Now, for our eyeliner, we're, we're just going to take, um, this is um, LA Colors Baked Eyeshadow. It's very, very inexpensive. And I use an eyeliner brush. Again, it doesn't matter your age, if this is for day or night. The only difference that it's going to make, and if you notice, um, again, I, I did go towards my nose. You always want to avoid uh, crow's feet. Okay, so now I have that on. Now, the next step that I normally do is, um, even before the eyeshadow, which is just my personal preference, is the blush. And this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin uh, Custom Glow Bronzer. Okay. And you're going to use the colors that um, complement your skin tone. Now, I tend to go um, slightly below my cheekbones. Uh, again, preference. Applying a slight amount on the forehead and the nose, on the sides of the nose area, and also just on the jawline and underneath the chin. Okay, now, here is the fun part which is our eyeshadow. Again, not a lot of money here. This is LA Colors. These are um, more, I would say, fall colors. Go with the season. I tend to put a lighter color on the lid. And I go ahead and do both eyelids with the lighter color. This is about the only place that you really can't go in towards the nose um, with any degree of accuracy. We're going to go over that one more time. And I'm using just a really light, uh, really light color there. Now, in the crease uh, today, I think I'm going to go with a brown. Now, here... We can actually go in towards the nose here. We can actually go in. And you're going to want to stop. Don't go all the way in. Um, wrong color there. I always hold my mouth open. It's been a habit I've had forever. Uh, started wearing makeup very young. Okay, and as you hold your head back, you'll just kind of see the the shadow that that will, so hence the term eyeshadow, right? Okay, now our next step, even before our um, eyeshadow is going to be our lipstick because I want I want to be sure and get this in. One, two, three, four. And rub that in really well. Then you're just going to take a piece of tissue to blot. Now, 
so now we are going to come in with the mascara. This is uh, a little tricky sometimes. It can be for um, newbies uh, applying mascara. Um, and again, that's kind of as thick as you want. You're going to want to take the last lash that you had there and sort of um, hold your brush. I'll show you on this side. But this one, we're going to hold the brush regularly. But you want to coat both sides of the lash, but we're going to take our brush and hold it just this way, the, with the pointy end, and sort of um, define the lashes once you get it on. Now you may want to do um, more coats. I did a very quick one. Um, it, it doesn't really matter how many coats that, that you um, actually do apply here. Let's see. And that is, um, that's pretty much it um, for that. This is, um, again, this is everyday makeup. It's um, day, night, for nighttime. Um, I would probably go a little bit darker with um, the color that I use in my crease, uh, which in this case was brown, and a wider shade on my eyelashes. Um, and, oh, the lipstick. Um, what did I do with that stuff? This um, shade here is called Black Orchid, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised um, at what and wild. Okay, so now we are pretty well done. Remember, uh, the main thing that you do want to remember is going in towards the nose always. Avoid wrinkles always. Anytime you're out in the sun, sunglasses always, always, always. Um, and I'm, I'll do a more um, in-depth uh, video uh, this is Monday. I'm going to try to do another one maybe Friday. I'm going to do a little bit of different colors. Um, we're probably going to go just a little bit heavier with the makeup um, so that you can kind of see um, because some people have a little bit of trouble when they get, well, I want to wear a little bit more makeup and I'm not really uh, sure how to do that even though actually you're just applying a little bit uh, heavier. So again, I'm J.C. Lawton and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, Appreciate the feedback, um, questions, uh, and if you like this video, please subscribe. And never forget your zest for makeup, the art of applying makeup. Thanks again. Have a great day.